Oh, we good? Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Sean Ollie, aka Mr. FSG, Iron Five Star Gym. Alright, so today you read the title, what we're talking about is Dumbbell Pullovers versus Cable Pullovers versus the Pullover Machine. Alright, so if you guys don't know what a pullover is, um, it's pretty much when you take the weight from behind you and come over, alright? I'll do it, I'll do a quick example for you guys, alright? So what you would typically do is you would come right rest here with your barbell up or the dumbbell. <laughs> come back, 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 get a good stretch, and you come forward, squeeze at the top. Alright, come back, squeeze at the top. Now the only problem with this is, alright, is that the only problem with this exercise, you get close so you can hear me. Alright, the only problem with this exercise is the fact that once you reach the top, gravity stops playing a part in it. Alright, so once you get to the part that's right here, right over your chest, you're no longer getting that resistance in your lats, alright? So, pretty much, that's the downside of doing it with dumbbells. Now, the plus side is you get a good stretch when you're at the bottom. When you're at the bottom, awesome stretch, alright? But once you get to the top, uh, you, the resistance is gone because gravity's not playing a part in it anymore, all right? So if you want to do the pullover exercise, I suggest throwing in dumbbells, but it's probably the least effective of all the three, in my opinion, all right? Next, we're going to go over dumbbell, all right, <laughs> cable pullovers, all right? All right, so now we're talking about cable pullovers, all right? So the advantage with cable pullovers is now you can get some resistance, all right? So watch me do a couple reps here, all right? Come down. None of this, none of, none of this bullshit you see people doing this. You're standing straight up because you're not getting a good stretch. You're really just focusing on the concentric, which is a whole nother video that I'm also going to record today. Alright? So you want to also, the eccentric and concentric are both important. Eccentric, in my opinion, is even more important. That's this part where you stretch. Alright? You want to be able to get a good stretch in your lap, so you want to come down. Bam, over. Back up. Bam, over. And see the, the difference with this as opposed to the dumbbells is at the top here, when you're coming down like this, once you reach here, that's when you're getting the most the most uh, optimal contraction because the cable is giving you resistance the whole way. Alright, with the dumbbells, once you get to the top, gravity starts playing a part. With this, since it's the cable, it pulls and it creates the gravity for you. Alright, the resistance for you. Alright, so that's why cable is good. Now it's Hey, <laughs> that was LT for uh, those of you guys who know that who that is. All right, basically, for me, this is the second most efficient way to do the pullover motion. Now, the last one is the machine, which I feel mostly works for me. Some people are gonna say the cables, but for me, I'm gonna say the machine works, and I'm gonna show you that right now. All right, so the last one, right, is gonna be the pullover machine. Now, for me personally, I think this is the best way to do the pullovers because you're getting resistance all the way through because one, you're on a pulley, two, it's much more controlled so you're getting the right motion. You can really screw up the motion with the cables and start working a lot more triceps than you want to. But see here, watch, watch me do a couple reps and you're gonna see that my elbows stay bent so there's no tricep activation, all right? Let's down, get started. All right, just come over. Squeeze. Back over, good stretch, good stretch. Remember the eccentric. Bam. Back up. Squeeze. Back up. Squeeze. Alright? So the fact that you're able to keep your elbows bent, right? And you're able to get resistance the whole way. For me personally, it takes out the triceps and you're getting the resistance without having to worry about gravity not taking over like with the dumbbells. So in my opinion. Go with the machine if you got it at your gym. Go with the cables if you don't have the machine. If you don't have cables or a machine, I don't know what kind of fucking gym you're going to, but then just use the dumbbells. And if your gym ain't got dumbbells, you must be at Planet Fitness or some shit, all right? <laughs> with that being said, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Don't forget to order, subscribe and share. Like and comment. And until next time, on my double dogs. Dismissed. This video, I wanted to address something that's been going on, not only in the YouTube fitness community that I've noticed, but also just fitness in general, all right? And that's fitness people putting other fitness people down or, you know, pretty much like giving like backhanded compliments, whatever the fuck they're called, all right? Pretty much, you know, it's like, 